Hey, hey, hey. What's up, everybody? This is Kelly Renee. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. And if you are returning to watch another video, welcome back. So this is a tapping video for those of us that are people pleasers. Now, please do not feel bad about this because I used to be the biggest people pleaser and I had no freaking idea why I was the way that I was but I knew I wasn't getting my needs met, but I didn't know how to stop it. I had no clue how to make the situations that I ended up in better. I never got my needs met, rarely got my needs met, and I got so bad that I became ill physically and emotionally distraught and felt really delusional at times and when you when you go so long and you don't get your needs met things start to pop up within your body within your thought processes and basically it's like a warning sign like hey take care of myself take care of me but from my experience i didn't know how to take care of me so that's why i have made this video to help those of you out there that have come to the realization that it's time to shift this and change it because it can be changed it can be healed and it can be transformed so that you can become the person that d doesn't even attract that negativity and those patterns in your life anymore and it just all the negative stuff that you've been carrying around the patterns just kind of fall away okay so to say that, let's talk a little bit about people pleasing. People pleasing typically is a pattern that you have inherited growing up with parents that are not emotionally available for you. And when you have parents that are not emotionally available for you, what happens normally is the child becomes a parent pleaser because they long for that nurturing and that love and that compassion from the parent and they don't really ever get it. And they try and find ways to make the parent happy and they can't. So they're trying to fill these shoes that they never can. And then they become adults and they start to please the people in their lives as adults. That could be a spouse or friends, anybody, really. And it becomes a problem when, like I said, in my situation, you become sick in your own body and you don't even know how to take care of yourself anymore. But there's hope, it can be shifted. So that's why we're here, let's get started. As always, I will guide you through this. And remember, the breath is so important. The breath shifts and heals this stuff. So please do not be shy about breathing. We're gonna deep breathe through our bellies. We're going to exhale with a wide open mouth, just like you're yawning. So the bigger the yawn, the more the healing that you will have and don't hurt your jaw, but I will guide you through this. So please close your eyes now. And I just want you to come down into your body as much as you possibly can. There's nowhere to be right now. It's just you and me here doing this tapping session together. And I want you to rate in your mind how strong this is for you. It could be from zero where it doesn't really bother you at all to 10 or 10 plus. And it, if it's that high, it's really, really bothering you. So just come down into your body. I want you to take the deepest breath in that you've taken all day. Deep breath in from your belly. Relax your shoulders down and relax your forehead. Relax your face and exhale out. Wide open mouth like you're going to take a big yawn. Keeping your eyes closed, relax your body, relax your face, relax your shoulders. 
And please relax your hip bones as you sit in the chair. Relax your legs down into your ankles and your feet. And the bottoms of your feet are relaxed. Even your toes are relaxed as much as possible. Fully come into the awareness of yourself. Fully come into the awareness of your body. Take notice of the air around you. And we're going to start tapping underneath the collarbones. And repeat after me. Now please remember if I'm saying any words that just don't match up with your story, you can always change the words. Okay, so keeping your eyes closed, deep breath in as we tap on our chest. Big yawn out. And here we go, repeat after me. And say, well, Even though I tend to try to please everybody, maybe I can accept myself anyways. Maybe. But even if I never change this part of me, I'm gonna go ahead and just try to accept it. because it's been happening anyways. It's been happening for a long, long time. This people pleasing thing has been going on for a lot of years. And even though sometimes I don't like to say no to people, because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Just maybe I can accept this part of me anyways. Maybe. Deep breath in from your belly. Big yawn out, remember wide open mouth. <sighs> So the next point is you're on your rib cage or your belly area. So go down and tap with both hands and say, sometimes I really know what I want to say to people, but it doesn't get said. Because I'm so afraid to hurt other people's feelings. And I seem to care so much about what other people think and what other people feel. But why can't I just speak up for myself? I don't know. It seems really impossible sometimes. And I remember what I was taught. So tap the inside of your wrist together, just like this. If you need to watch, watch, and then go back to closing your eyes. I certainly remember what I was taught growing up. They taught me to be a good girl or a good boy. Now, if that doesn't ring true for you, you could say something like, or they taught me to keep quiet and not be outspoken. It could be something else too. So whatever it is for you, whatever it is that you were taught growing up, 
that you think relates to this pattern of people pleasing, please say it out loud right now. And I want you to take the deepest breath in from your belly right now. Wide open mouth, exhale. And if you go to cough, that's great because that's, an also, that's also a form of release of trapped emotional trauma within your body. Tap the outside of your hand. This is called the karate chop point. But I don't want to please others anymore. But I don't know how this can change. I don't want to hold myself back anymore. What about me? What about my needs? And sigh out. <sighs> this has gone on for so long. And I feel the effects of it in my body. My body is trying to tell me something here. And I know I've held myself back. But maybe I can forgive myself. Maybe just a little bit. Because I didn't know any different. I didn't know how to take care of myself. Or you could say, I didn't know how to get my needs met. Tap the top of your head with both hands. Is this even possible to overcome? I don't really know. Sometimes it seems so ingrained. This whole pleasing others thing. It's exhausting. And sometimes I don't know how to make it stop. <sighs> Sigh out if you need to. Tapping the eyebrow point. So if I always try to please others, oh well. Oh well. Tapping the outside of your eyes. This is just a pattern I inherited. It was just a way to deal what was happening in my surroundings. Tapping underneath your eyes, high up on the cheekbones. And even if I stay a people pleaser, I'm gonna just try to love and accept myself anyway. Tapping underneath your nose, and if you want to, put one hand on your heart. I like to, but you don't have to. Deep breath in from your belly. Relax your shoulders as you exhale out. Big wide mouth open like a biggest, the biggest yawn you've done all day, please. Make some sound. Tapping your chin point. <clears throat> and say, even if I picked up some inherited patterns, oh well.
tapping your chest underneath your collarbones. I'm going to love and respect myself anyway. Okay, so tuning in with your eyes closed, I want you to really think back to your childhood and really see yourself at a particular age. It can be made up, it can be something that actually happened, it really doesn't matter. The first thing that pops into your head. So pick the age and with your imagination and your curiosity, I want you to be to see what is happening in the scene, in the image. So maybe you see yourself at this certain age with your parents, with whoever it was that raised you. Maybe you see them just really not available for you emotionally or maybe they just weren't physically available there. Maybe they were a parent that just didn't um, have a presence in your life at all or a whole lot. So whatever it is that you see right now, go in with your courage. You might even see your mom, your dad, your guardian, whoever it was that raised you, trying to tell you or show you to be quiet or to stop acting out, to stop being loud, etc. Okay? Really feel into the scene. Imagine what's happening. See the colors. See what you're wearing. See what you're doing see what your face looks like, your posture. And I want you to describe the scene out loud. So describe what you're wearing, how you're feeling, what you look like, what your posture is like. Go ahead. And if you need to pause me for some more time, pause me. Stay with the scene. Start tapping on your rib cage and your stomach area. And now we're going to call in some very bright and warm, universal, loving light to envelop the scene. Okay, so I want you to take the deepest breath in. I know I keep saying the deepest breath, but really the deepest breath in from your belly. And as you breathe in, I want you to see this warm, golden, healing, swirling, glittery, shimmery light come into the scene, swirling all around you, maybe even around your parents, in between your parents around items in the scene. Breathe it in. Exhale out with the biggest yawn. <sighs> I keep seeing the swirling light. It's so warm and it is so golden and you can even feel it on your skin in the scene right now as your child self and maybe your child self even looks up at the light and feels it because it's glittery, it's warm, it's shimmery. This is not something that you see every day. And he or she may not look up and that's totally fine. See what you see, be curious, take a deep breath again, really hone in on what you're seeing. Sigh out. <sighs> Come down into your body now. And I just want you to take in whatever is left 
in the scene right now. It could be the same exact thing happening. It could be less clear. It could be changed completely. Whatever it is for you that's popping up in your imagination right now is perfect. You are doing this right. So really, I just want you to sit, keep tapping on your ribcage, stomach area. Just sit with what you're seeing and just take it in. I want you to go back into the image And one more time, I want you to imagine this time that little fairies or little angels are flying into the scene and they're landing beside your younger child self. They're just sitting beside you, honoring you, trying to protect you, guiding you. So breathe in, see whatever it is you want to see, little tiny fairies or angels, big angels even. One may even land on your shoulder and try to whisper something in your ear right now. And just listen to what this little fairy or this protection angel is trying to tell you right now. (sighs) (sighs) Try to remember what the message is. Really take it to heart. This is a real energy. Tapping the inside of your wrist together. And repeat after me and say, even if I have some remaining things come up, I'm just going to take notice of them and accept them as is. Because this is a journey and this is my journey and it's okay. It's okay what happened in the past. a learning and growing experience. Tap the outside of your hand and just maybe, just maybe, I can learn how to take care of me. It might be possible Perhaps it is, but even if I don't get it all right on the first try, it's totally okay. Tap the top of your head. And really, truly, I don't have to please anybody but myself. Huh. I really don't have to please anybody but me. Tap your eyebrow point. And what if that's my only job?
what if all I truly have to do is take care of myself? and do what I want to do. It might be possible. Tap the outside of your eyes. Maybe I can just please me. One day, it doesn't have to be today. It doesn't even have to be tomorrow or next week. I'll decide when the time is right. And if I don't feel comfortable pleasing just me, well, then I don't have to. But ultimately, I am the most important person I'm the most important person in my life. Tap underneath your eyes. Because after all, I am truly one of a kind. And I am worthy just for being born. And I'm pretty sure I wasn't created to be a people pleaser. because it zaps my energy. And I really don't want that. But everything can be healed. Everything can be shifted. Yes, even the seemingly ingrained traits Tap underneath your nose, one hand on your heart. Because if Kelly can do it, then so can I. Kelly used to try to please everybody. So what's possible for someone else? Well, it's possible for me too. Tap your chin point. And really, this was just a pattern I picked up. It's not anybody's fault. I was just trying to do what I thought I needed to do. Tap your chest. Take a deep breath in. <sighs> Big yawn out. <sighs> And so I ask God, the universe, the divine, whatever word you want to use here, to help me now with this healing. To deactivate the things that, that do not serve me. And with the love and support from God, the universe, or the divine, it is possible that I can take this one step at a time. Tap your rib cage, stomach points. And if I want to say no to people or speak out, I can. only if I truly, truly want to. And if I don't feel comfortable with that, then I don't have to. And 
and that's okay too. And if I'm still timid or shy to speak up, then I will still meet myself right where I'm at. And I love and accept myself more than before. And I love and adore myself more than before. Tuck the inside of your wrist. And I probably won't get all this right on the first try. Because just like I inherited this people pleasing pattern, I am now inheriting a new way of doing things. And it may take a little while to improve. And again, I will meet myself right where I'm at. Tap the outside of your hand on the karate chop point. Deep breath in from your belly. So gently stop tapping. Let's take some deep breaths together. Keeping your eyes closed. <sighs> okay, <clears throat> come down into your body again. Let's just thank ourselves today for doing this. So say, thank you me for sitting down today and doing this healing. And say, I love and adore myself for doing this. And I will meet myself right where I'm at every step of the way. Stretch your body up, stretch your arms up, up above your head. You might like to stretch your body one way or the other. Okay. So what's your number now? So we rated it at the beginning of the video if it stayed the same, that's perfectly fine. You can go back to the beginning of this and tap again through this. And your number will change eventually. It will shift and transform. The more tapping you do, the better the breakthroughs you will have, the bigger the shifts that you will have in your life. Okay, it's not like a once and done thing. <laughs> so what's your number? Go ahead and rate it. Okay, hey everybody, please, please, please reach out to me if you have any questions. I love to help. I love to answer questions. And I also love to do one-to-one -one EFT sessions with people. You will get a full session where I sit down, we listen, we tap, we talk, and we clear the stuff that's holding you back in your life. So you can reach me on Facebook. I have a Facebook page, Kelly Renee. I'll leave the link at the bottom of the video here. You can also leave me a comment here. And I will also link my email so that you have three ways to contact me if you feel called to. Okay. Love, love, love you guys. Please stay tuned for more videos. All right. Bye.